Hello everyone and welcome to day six. The focus today is purely core. Let's get started. Okay, so the first exercise is a bent arm plank. Although it does work a lot of upper body and your shoulders, the focus for this one should be on your core. So March is going to have her elbows right under her shoulders and up onto the toes. Think about pulling your belly button right into your lower back. We're gonna start the timer right now, so we can get you doing this for one minute. Focus is just really to keep everything as still and strong and tight as possible. You can hear Marta has some nice slow controlled breathing. That is very important. Sometimes it's easy to forget and hold your breath, so you really want to focus on nice slow controlled breaths. The whole time she's thinking of her abs and keeping them strong and tight. We're at the halfway mark, you've got 30 seconds to go. Everything's nice and still, focusing on being strong. Almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You've got about 10 seconds left. That's it. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Three, two, and there's your minute right there. Nicely done. Okay, so exercise number two involves a straight arm plank, and this one we're going to have some knee crosses. We're going to bring the knee across towards the opposite arm, but you want to do it a little bit quicker, and you also want to think about your abs initiating that movement so we can get some nice oblique work, as well as some hip flexors. So, hands are underneath the shoulders, feet, are fairly wide for a good base of support. And from here, you're gonna snap that knee across towards the opposite elbow. Nice and slow back. The whole time thinking about using those abs. So we're gonna do 15 repetitions on either side. Is everyone ready? Here we go. Okay, so the next exercise is a one-arm plank or a side plank. So as you can see with Marta's starting position, she has the mat rolled up a little bit just for a bit more cushion on that forearm and elbow. Her elbow is right underneath her shoulder, and her feet are either going to be both on top of each other, or the top leg can go in front of the back leg, whichever is more comfortable for you. And from here, Marta's going to lift her hips, right off the ground, that bottom leg stays nice and straight, and that's going to work the oblique muscles, so the side of your abdomen that's closest to the ground. We're going to hold 30 seconds on one arm, and then 30 seconds on the other arm. So we'll let you get into position, and are we ready? 30 seconds starts now. Good, so Marta has her breathing nice and controlled. Upper body stays nice and strong. That shoulder's doing a lot of work. That's 10 seconds. Good, nice and controlled. You can see that nice straight line right from the shoulder all the way down to her feet. Good, that's 20 seconds. You've got 10 more to go. This is a challenge. Squeeze it out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're almost done. Make those obliques work hard. Make the shoulders work hard. That's 30 seconds right there. Okay, so now we've got that left arm in place. Everything is ready. 30 seconds starts now. It's quite natural to have one side that's going to feel stronger than the other. The key thing with this exercise is to focus. If your shoulders are burning, think about your abs. Keep them nice and tight. It's those obliques that are working. Almost there. Keep going, keep going. You're almost done. And that's time right there. Okay, so the next exercise is called leg raises. 
This is going to work your lower abs as well as your hip flexors, and you're even going to work a little bit of your lower back, keeping everything in the right place. So let me demonstrate first. You're going to lay right back. Make sure that your lower back stays flat on the mat. From here, you're going to want to pivot from the hips, pulling your legs in, using your abs. You're going to go nice and slow, pivoting from the hips on the way down. As soon as you start to feel that lower back lift, that's your stopping point. Because if this lifts, then you're not using your abs. You want to always keep that back flat so you can use those abdominal muscles to pull the legs up. With your legs straighter, you're going to use a lot more of your abs to make it tougher. If you want to bend the knees, you can make it a little bit easier. We're going to do 15 reps of this. We're going to start now. Three more to go. And those are our 15 reps. Okay, the last core exercise is a little bit more of an advanced movement. We're going to do what's called a V-sit. And we are going to include a twist as well. So, in the sitting position, you want to lean back enough that you can lift your feet off the ground. That's going to already work a lot of core. If that's challenging for you, you can still keep your feet on the ground and lean back to initiate your abs. Here's where the twist comes in, literally. From here, you're going to use all of your core muscles and obliques to twist to either side. One either side is one full repetition. We're going to do 15. If you can, lift those heels up off the ground. If not, keep them in the same place. 15 reps starts now. Okay, so that's the end of day six, the end of our core workout. Tomorrow is the last workout in our seven workout series. Tomorrow we're going to focus a little bit more on stretching and some isometric contractions. See you then.